So welcome back, continuing with our series comparing the brand new Pixel 7a with its slightly more expensive brother, the 7. This time we're going to be looking at the Pixel's main selling point, their cameras. And surprisingly the brand new budget phone, the 7a, brings with it some brand new sensors which on paper looks like it will decimate the 7. But let's put that to the test, let's find out which out of the two is truly better. So let's start things off with some outdoor images right in the heart of London, welcome all to the Barbican. A little tucked away community with some very interesting architecture and with its contrasting colour tones it's the perfect place to start. And already with the first image you can already see some obvious differences, with the Pixel 7 being a lot more vibrant and the 7a coming out a little bit washed out. But having said that, if we actually compare the images side by side, take a look at these trees. With the shadows of the Pixel 7 having some truer blacks, but with the 7a it seems like it's picked up a bit more details in those shadows themselves. Now having a look at the next image, in the distance you can't really tell the difference, but if you have a look at the foreground items, such as the leaves up top, it becomes a bit more obvious. Oh and as for that tree, apparently there's also a tone difference. I mean it does pop up in this next image as well, however with the clouds being all over the place, I'm going to overlook it for now. Now let's come back to those washed out blacks. In this next image, even when you look at the whiter parts of the image, you can tell that it's simply just drawing in a lot more light. I mean it does make sense when you have a look at the spec sheet. Along with increasing the megapixel count, Google have also adjusted the aperture as well, switching up how much light actually enters the lens, which definitely could be the cause behind some of these washed out shots. It will definitely be very interesting later on when we look at the nighttime photos, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's check out the wide lens, where we find the biggest difference. I mean just look at these crazy angles, the Pixel 7a literally blows it out of the water. Hands down the phone that you guys should pick if you're after those ultra wide shots. I mean there is still a slight tone difference between the two, however with only 6 degrees more of field of view, the results are quite phenomenal. Now so far both phones are keeping up quite closely with each other. So let's check out one of the Pixel's all time weak points, the Achilles heel, the zoom. Not bad right? Well, guess again. The more shots we look at, the more apparent it becomes there's a ton of post processing that's happening behind the screen. Google are straight up years behind Samsung and their space zoom technology. I mean Samsung can literally go to a 100 times zoom and get similar results. Whereas here with the pixels, this is literally 8 to 10 times maybe? So yeah, if you guys zoom a lot, definitely don't go with the pixel and that literally goes for both of them. Now having said that, with the main lens with closer subjects, honestly you'll be blown away by the level of detail and colour that both phones catch. Now personally I like the truer tones of the Pixel 7, however the 7a does capture a lot more details within the darker areas just as it did with the further shots, so at this point it's really up to personal preference. And this even carries forward for indoor shots as well, well that is as long as we have some light. With blinds down in total darkness, don't expect to grab a usable picture and even with my blinds open with just some street light creeping in, sadly it just wasn't enough. Alright I've held it back long enough, let's have a look at some nighttime photos. And here you can really tell the difference between the two, with both phones picking up a lot of details, but the 7a is clearly flooding the image with the street light, very similar to what it did with the daytime shots. But more impressively, this is actually taken without Google's night shot feature actually turned on. So popping that on, the Pixel 7a still blown out, but with the 7, even though it did increase overall brightness and add in extra details to the bushes, it did also boost the street light in the image as well. However, overall the photo is a lot more usable than the 7a's. Now having said that, for any scenario that there isn't any direct light source pointed at the camera itself, between the two it's actually very close, with the 7a delivering a much more evenly detailed image, whereas with the 7 you can tell in the darker areas there's definitely a slight loss of detail. Now I know what you're thinking, how about the wide lens? 
Now here, you can truly see the magic of Google's Night Shot, taking a dark grainy image and blowing it up to something that almost resembles daylight. And on the 7A, the wide lens goes even further. And combined with Google's Night Shot, it's as if a massive spotlight is being used on the building itself. It's definitely very impressive. I mean, that is saying we're ignoring these blown out light sources. But putting that to one side, what do you guys think? Which one actually takes the better photo? And whilst you guys think about it, I guess it's about time we check out some video. So here we have both phones set to full 4K, running at 60 FPS. They're both quite decent, but for some reason, it just doesn't feel like 4K. There's definitely still an oversaturation on the Pixel 7, and is it just me or does the 7a just feel a bit more murky? Now check out the default active stabilization on both of these clips. There definitely does seem to be slightly more camera shake on the 7a with each step that I'm taking. And as we move over to a slightly more rocky terrain, it's definitely more clear to see. You can literally feel every stride. Now I know it kind of feels like the 7a is definitely subpar to the 7. However, if we're looking at it standalone, it's definitely a very impressive device, especially looking at its price point. And the footage is very comparable to the 7s. And even in some cases, I kind of prefer the 7a. So let me know down in the video description below if you guys want a fully blown dedicated video on a more in depth video comparison between the two, or even if you want some tips and tricks on how to improve the camera quality. Oh, and of course, let's not forget, both phones bring with them some slow-mo action. And yeah, as you can tell, they're both kind of just a bit meh. They both go up to 8x slow-mo, that's roughly about 240 frames per second, which is alright. And as for nighttime video, I'm telling you straight, it's pure rubbish. Stabilization, completely shot. Noise, literally all over the footage. I mean honestly, it looks like it's been shot on a potato. In this case, two. So yeah, don't get a pixel if you want slow-mo, or even thinking about shooting any footage in the night. But what do you guys think? Which of the two would you prefer? Is it better to go with a more budget Pixel 7a? Or should you spend that little bit extra and upgrade to the 7? And for those of you interested, make sure to also check out my battery comparison. You won't believe which one comes out on top. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.